I feel like Richardsville Elementary is a total learning environment. Uh, you know, it teaches them about sustainability. Uh, it teaches them uh, firsthand. They can see it, they can touch it. Uh, so for those visual learners, those on-hand learners, they can see it and they can touch it. But I think uh, the big thing is, is we're passing something on to the generations that they'll pass on the generations of their kids to be energy conscious, be good stewards of the environment. They're learning about sustainability. Uh, there's children in this school, and it's a, a kindergarten through sixth grade school. There's children in this school that know more about geothermal and solar energy than most adults. Our student energy team really works with peers within the building to lead them and teach them energy concepts, um, how our building works and is energy efficient, as well as um, concepts to do with energy, like renewable energy. We had a big fair last year. And they also work with our community. We have community events where people can come in and learn about energy, as well as school tours. When we have groups, a lot of times they like for the students to take them and teach them about the building. I was in a compost group. What, what we did was we showed them how you, a compost worked and there was wind power and solar power and everybody liked it. Richardsville is kind of unique. Uh, you know, we had a planning committee that sat down and discussed what all we needed to look at. We're always concerned about safety in school, uh, so the building walls themselves also have a 250 mile per hour wind resistant wall, so it's a real good place to be in a severe weather situation. Uh, we have solar tubes that bring in natural lighting. The building itself has no water heater, so to speak. We use the uh, residual uh, energy produced from the geothermal well and store that for hot water. And it, it's just uh, really been an overall concept, uh, even down to reducing uh, the square footage of the building by eliminating a uh, computer lab in lieu of having an actual computer lab, which would have added about eight to a thousand square feet that we had to condition. We have laptops on carts, which we have four of those available, which are mobile. Teachers sign them out, take them to their classrooms, and they have an in-house uh, computer lab available to them. We love the new building. Um, the transition over here, the kids were in awe of their new building, not just the newness of it, but all of the great things within it. We, we got to see it being built. We, we got to take a tour through it while it was being built. It, it, it was really cool to see like how they were building it and where our classroom was going to be. You know, our hallways are, are separated into different concepts. So we have a water conservation hallway and there's an interactive mural there where they can see um, how the water cycle um, is part of energy. And then it was developed with our Warren County Water District. So then they can see how um, that water becomes part of what they use in their homes, in the hospitals, in the school, um, as well as we have a rain garden and we talk about um, collecting rainwater and, and using that. Then you go into the solar hall where they're learning about daylighting strategies and um, those habits and photovoltaic cells. We have geothermal and downstairs they get to um, learn about how we use heat from the the earth itself and then they have the recycling hallway and that goes back to those habits that we have to develop to be good stewards um, of the earth in general. I just enjoy being at Richardsville Elementary School because I see the, the students, they enjoy being here, the teachers, they enjoy talking about the facility. It just seems like to be a good climate or an atmosphere to be in. As you go down the hallways and you see the kids enjoying their facility, it just gives me great joy in doing that. To be able to share our success, it's been, you know, uh, kind of like uh, an explanation point of, of success of everybody working in a collaborative effort to make something successful. Richardsville Elementary, uh, a typical school in the state of Kentucky, uh, using a unit of measure, uh, uses typically 73 kBT per square foot to operate. Richardsville Elementary operates around 18. We have a, a renewable source of energy, which is solar panels, uh, that generates energy for us. And uh, we actually use uh, Richardsville Elementary as a platform for the, the solar panels. And we measure it uh, with a consumption meter, which is what the building uses. And then we also have a production meter, and that's how much 
energy that the solar panels produce. What we hope to do is have a net zero balance between the two, or that's the goal that we have in place. Uh, we've been very fortunate uh, since the schools opened. We've been able to annually uh, produce more energy than we've consumed, actually making us a net zero plus building. And that's money that uh, we can redirect back into the general funds of the school and use uh, for areas uh, that are in need, whether it's technology, whether it's new buses, uh, whether it's teacher salaries, whatever. It's just not uh, money that's gone out for our utility bill. I'm very proud of Richardsville Elementary School, uh, and I'm proud of Warren County Public Schools for taking the initiative and being a leader in, in doing this type of project. Because, you know, uh, no one had done this type of project before. They were challenged, uh, but they, the, the designers, the leadership, uh, the teachers, the staff, they all stepped up, they all took the challenge and embraced it and made it work. I got to go here, so I'm grateful. Um, my own children go here and I see the opportunities that it's given them and the pride that they've had in it. And, um, and that makes me feel good as a parent, not just as a teacher.